It's Wednesday. Um, it's group therapy night. And I am suddenly very just like, oof. Like, I'm starting to get the, the midweek lull. The um, bear is preparing for hibernation. Yeah, I am full of soup. I haven't posted a picture of it yet. But we made a Greek chicken lemon rice soup, and it is just... Yeah. Do you... Do you... Do, Lollipop, do you like, um... Uh... Lemon-flavored stuff? Uh... A little bit. This is this is a this is a soup that might be it is it is Wednesday my peoples it's true Viv um, this is a soup that might appeal to you uh, because it is literally just chicken stock rice chicken and lemon with some like egg white and yolk like um, whisked in for to thicken it up some but other than that like that's it it's chicken lemon rice soup I would eat that it's very delicious there you go I kid eat that. Um, I needed to get you some energy right um, by the way so I know you said well we'll get into it in a second I'm gonna I'm gonna have a couple of these because the season started today folks first McRib of the season is in my belly and the second McRib of the season is in my fridge that I will probably have as a snack tomorrow at some point. So yeah. Um, ooh, fun stuff. So Friday, Friday we're playing Remnant from the Ashes. Mike, Mike's here. Hey, that's me. Um, yeah, this guy picked it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, also, I might give away a two-month Game Pass subscription on Friday to someone who's never had Game Pass before. Because I have a what spare. What is Game Pass? Well, <laughs> I'm so Speaking glad you asked. So Game Pass is a subscription service that Microsoft offers. There are three different types. There's Game Pass for console, Game Pass for PC, and Game Pass Ultimate, which includes both, and then some. Um, this is a Game Pass Ultimate, so it has all the Game Pass for console, all the Game Pass for PC, all of EA Play for both console and PC. And other little perks here and there that, that they uh, have. Kind of like the, the Prime Gaming stuff that, that Amazon does on Twitch. Similar kind of perks that show up on uh, Game Pass Ultimate. But I um, I ended up with a spare code. A two-month pass. Two. For anyone who has never had Game Pass before. So I'm probably going to give that away on Friday. Wow, does that mean I can play all EA games with Game Pass for two months if I get that code? Not all EA games, but a very good selection of them. If you would like. E EA does not have to take my money anymore. How sweet. <laughs> if you go to GamePassCounter.com, you can see all of the games that are available. It's true, over 100 EA games are on there. Um, and, you know, not to put too fine a point on it, but... Game Pass Counter is Mike's baby. They build it like from scratch. That is that is their child, and and it's beautiful and lovely and fantastic. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, Vivian, Vivian, Viv's getting on to me for not playing Java, but he's still running Windows Seven like it's 2008. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just... Um, yeah. It's fine, Viv. No, no. It's it's fine. Fine. I like Win 7. It, I, Win 7 was the best. I, I liked it, too. And then now there's 10. And, oh, wait, 11. I can't run 11. Yeah, your, your CPU's a little older, isn't it? It's a seventh generation. I just missed the cutoff. Yeah. Um, those are those are about six, seven years old now, aren't they? I don't know. My computer's running well. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. Hmm. Knock wood. Let's see what we got here. 
Seventh gen stuff started coming out in Cabby Lake. That's the Cabby Lake stuff. So January of 2017. Oh, okay. So I'm getting close to about five years now. Yeah, it was only because of that security thing that they're only going eighth gen and up. Yeah, there's some security stuff and some performance stuff that's related to some of those security features. So it is what it is. I, I will say this. You know, on the one hand, it does suck that there are updated system requirements for Windows that do leave some older PCs behind. On the other hand... This is the first time that they've made major changes to the system requirements since Windows Vista, I think. Um, yeah. Where's the... Well, of course, you know, to be fair, to be Windows fair. 10... <laughs> Windows 10 is going to be supported with security updates until at least... To, I think through 2024 into part of 2025. Yeah, I think so, so too. It's perfectly okay to have Windows 10. It is. It absolutely is. It absolutely is. Um, I'm going to go look at the support dates. So as long as you stay on the latest, the latest updates for Windows 10. Um, for example, uh, the one that just came out, version 20H2, the second half of uh, 2020. I guess 21H1 is out now, but uh, 20H2 was the last, what they call long-term release. Um, so they support that for roughly three years after it gets like finalized. So that's like May of 2023. Um, so there's still like a year and a half on just that update. Um, so yeah, it'll still be supported for a while. And I mean, like the enterprise and education stuff is until roughly this time in 2025 so yeah but yeah i mean i feel when... bad for windows 7 i think windows 7 stopped being supported last year or this year a couple of years ago now a couple of years ago uh let me well, let me look it really was such a great Windows version, then they came out with eight. Which made everything look like your your Windows phone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was built more, I think, for tablets, I think, and laptop surface touchy things. Yeah, it I have opinions on the whole thing. A lot of it was mismanagement, but well, yeah, that's a that's a topic for another day, I think. Yeah, January of 2020, so almost two years now since Windows 7 is out of support. Well, that's because V is an IT professional and you should listen to her, Vivian. It's, it's almost like she does it for a living, almost. Just a little. Vivian K. S'mores. Vivian K. S'mores. Ah. Uh. I was not reading the name like that. I'm not gonna lie. I was reading it as Vivian T. S'mores. No, that's 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 yeah. That's you were reading it as it's written. We we're we call him Vivian K. S'mores. It's just it's 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 one of his many names. Viv, Vivian, guy with the face. Oh God, yeah, that one's oof, that one's a good one. That's a good one. Yep, 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 yep. He does have a face, though. Like, not gonna lie. Like, very much with the face. I mean, sorry, Viv. It's just how it is, bud. How it is. You don't think it'd be like that, but sometimes it do. I don't know, Tani. I I would be willing to bet that you do have a face. 
it might not necessarily be a human face. It might be a computer box face with all the blinky buttons. But I bet you have a face. Watches have faces. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm, I mean, it's like these are facts. Do with them what you will. Viv, you do not have an air face. And if I were to tell V that you said that, that would be a second thing that she would be yelling at you about. What would she? What would you say to her if she said that about herself to you? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. We 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 look out for the people we care about. That's what I'm saying. No no no. I will. I will not. Shh. I will not. I will not, sir. I will do no such of a thing. Ooh. Mike, don't you start with that shit. We had that talk a couple of weeks ago when you had pictures from St. Louis Pride. Don't you start that shit. Um, by the way, um, this is a thing that, just a reminder, um, I know that I use it, Mike has used it, Tani has used it, uh, and if you would like to use it too, grab the, uh, pronoun, the Twitch pronouns extension for either Chrome or Edge, uh, cause it's pretty great and it helps know what other people's pronouns are in the chat. And you can set yours as well. It's true. I can see that you've used it, Tani. See it. Here, I'll show... I'll show the folks at home what it looks like. For those of you who have never used it before, you can look and see. And let's go... So you can see here, here's the chat. And you can see there's Tani's pronouns there. There's Mike's pronouns there. There's mine there. The bot doesn't have pronouns because the bot isn't a person. The bot can represents you, me. Can you make them beep boop? No, I don't think it supports custom. Because that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Bot is a bot. Beep boop. It's true. It's true. Yeah, I wish I wish I wish they had official support on Twitch for pronouns. That would be great. But, you know. I don't know what pronoun to select because some of these are calling out to me. Really? Are you are you it, are you it, it's I don't are, know why. Are you learning things about yourself tonight, Kit? Well, I already know I'm pretty much an arrow asexual but I do identify as female most of the time. However, I do feel sometimes male. Okay. So for me, it's sort of like, I can go the traditional, but I guess I'll do this one. It's true. You can change as you would like. You can go in and change it anytime you like. There's even an any option, which is nice. Let's see if that loaded. I do not see the pronouns. You might have to refresh the browser window once you install the, the extension. And then okay, as, refreshed. as messages come in, I'll say... Mm, no. No. Okay. So. Okay. Well, you, you you it might be a close reopen tab thing then. Okay. So, I'll see it next time. Yeah, you'll see it next time. Hi, Fritz. How you doing there, bud? Happy Wednesday to you. Oh, come on in. Ah. Uh, uh, Tony, I'm kind of uh. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of an off night. Um, I got some anxious bits for my uh, interview coming up on Friday. I have an interview if, on Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. Like, what the shit? What a time. You're telling me. Um, Why 3 p.m.? I feel like it's, well, one, the... Th the, the two managers and the VP that are interviewing me are in meetings constantly anyway. 
But yeah. also, I feel like I'm going to be the last one interviewed. Like, I feel like they scheduled me at the end on purpose. For good reasons, I think. But I feel like they scheduled me there on purpose. Are you going to be sitting through work that day? Oh, yeah. yeah. While this is occurring? Oh. Oh, yeah. No, just regular old work day. And then interview at three. Oh, no, Fritz. Oof. Oh, Jesus Christ, Fritz. Oh, buddy, I'm so sorry. What's, uh... How symptomatic are they? Like, how's how's it going? Thank you, Tani. I, I, th I think it'll go well, but, you know, I'm just... You know. In your head? Oh, yeah. No, I'm constantly in my head. It's the actual worst. It's so terrible. Scared <sighs> me a little that Fritz is still typing. About flu sick. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. That's, you know, as far as that kind of goes, that's, that's best case scenario. I mean, you know, aside from not having symptoms at all, but they're both vaccinated. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That's that's good. Thank you, Tani. I appreciate you. Yeah, you're gonna have your you're having your your nice nature weekend getaway. I'm I'm very excited for you. That should be a fun time, I think. Should be a very nice time. Oh good, oh. Fritz. That's that's good. I mean, again, sounds like kind of best case scenario stuff here. So at least he's he's equipped to to fight it, which is very very good. Um hopefully they'll go through the flu-like stuff for a few days and then be in the clear. God. And that's... have lots of homemade chicken soup, right? Oh man. Like the soup that we made tonight. I want some of that lemon, although I'd I will admit I changed the rice out for orzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We that the recipe that we used. I mean, you can use either one because I mean, you know, you're not you're not cooking it to like it's a gallon of of stock in a cup of rice. So you know. Oh, Tani. Yeah, I. Yeah. Oh, Fritz. Jesus, that's. Yikes. Southwest England? No, software engineer. Oh, yeah. sorry. I was reading it as No, no, that that makes I, location. I, I can absolutely understand why you where you would get that from, but no. No, Tani, they're a they're a software engineer. Um so they 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 do the beep boops like me and Lollipop do. I just use the beep boops. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did I tell you I spent my whole afternoon um like getting basically nothing done just because of um my local service fabric being stupid? Oh Jesus Christ. I figured it out, but by the time I figured it out it was like three thirty and I had like nothing left in me. Yeah. It's true, Andrea. There is soup. I gotta post a picture of the, the soup that we made tonight. I'll do that later. Um good soup. Stop that. Get out of here with that. Yeah, Fritz, <laughs> uh, hopefully in the next couple of days, the the five and up can get the Pfizer. Because uh, I know, was it yesterday, the uh, the FDA panel um, approved it, like, unanimously. So now the FDA just actually has to go on record and say, yep, this is good. So, fingers crossed. Uh, I'm I'm particularly excited about that one because Bean works at an elementary school, so to you know get through all of that and make sure that the kids at her school are finally starting to be able to be vaccinated because they're all like age like four and five to ten and eleven. So yeah, yeah. Um. 
Viv posted something hilarious and random. Viv, what did you post in random? Oh, that's true. That's true. Also, Kit, that vase gives me you vibes, too. <laughs> I don't actually stand there with my hands on the hips, though. No, no, you. I, I don't imagine you standing there, but, like, like, the vibe of, like, like, I can just see you sitting there, like, all right, fucker, I'm done with you. Like. Yeah, I don't have a very good poker face, except when I'm working. But when I, when, whenever I'm out with my friends or out, like, whatever, mm. I get that face, like, I'm done with you. Yeah. I have a pretty good poker face. Actually, so, um, when I was seeing a therapist, which I need to find a new one, um, at one point, I'm talking with her, and... You know, I'm listening and talking along and listening and listening. And she looks at me and she's like, she's like, you got to give me something. You, there's, there's nothing on your face. I'm like, yeah, that's by design. So, yeah. Don't torture a therapist like that. I'm we not all try trying to read nonverbal expressions. No, I'm not trying to torture the therapist. That's just my default like thing is like, I try not to give a lot away in my face. So... You know, I I like to take time to analyze a situation, figure out what the fuck's going on, process information, and then react. I've had a history of not doing that so well, so, you know, I'm trying to be better. Which sometimes it comes off as me just, you know, not really thinking of anything. Um, RBF. Which, Resting bear face. Yeah, yeah. I do kind of have resting bear face. I do. Not I if just... you look at his eyes. If you look at his eyes, you could tell when he's happy or sad or anything. I noticed that. In fairness, I am more vulnerable on stream than I am in a situation like that. That's true. I'm not from Florida, so I can't say I know you personally. Well... I mean, eventually, maybe, but, you know, like you, the resting, I'll cut you while <laughs> playing Among Us face. Yeah. I would never. I would totally. Stop being sus, man. That's Sunday. That's Sunday. That's true. That's true. Can't be sus. Can't be sus today. Gotta be straight up today. Uh... Day. Okay, I feel like you need this right now. So. This is this is Krakow's stream. This is what this is, and I'm wearing a frog hat. Right, it's it's frog just hat. not questioning it. This is just how hat. it is around here. Cameron, I see you. I see you lurking over there, buddy. How's it going? Not not our Cameron lollipop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, hold on. Let me put on the uh, on the. Who's he? Who's Tired as all hell. Yeah, yeah. I, but I know the feeling. I know the feeling. What time is it in your time zone? Like how, how far into the future are you? Because I know Dom is what Dom is thirteen hours ahead of us. I want to say. I think. Mm, that's. That's tomorrow. I don't. I don't know how long. Eleven a.m. So you are you are well ahead of us. You're fifteen hours ahead of us. That's that's way out there. That's real far. See, and that's why that's why I keep the clock up there so we know what time it is. So I know what time it is. That really, the clock is there just for me. So I have no idea, no idea what's going on. Otherwise, I'd be here till like like one in the morning and. Like, Bean would come in and, like, yell. And, you know, stuff like that. Kick in uh, the door and be like, Ice bear needs please it for smash or go to bed. Thank you, Kit. Thank you for gifting that sub to Cam. I appreciate you. Hi, Pika. Well, um, we just kind of chill out and, you know, talk about our week. Talk about anything that's on our mind. Stuff like that. Um... You know, Cam says he's kind of having a down day. If 
there's something that you he wants to talk about or if you know anybody wants to talk about that's kind of why we're here we just we just kind of chill and talk about life and you know try to help lift each other up a little bit it's a it's a it's a nice time this is actually like my favorite part of the week is is this particular show because it's very very just nice the rainbow connection tani the rainbow connection um wait a minute i think my okay i will i will do this once because i don't know if it'll i don't know where is it Okay, let me make sure Pandora is going out to the non-VOD track. And I will do this once, just to, just to do it. You know, just so I don't get my ass sued by Disney. Where's the audio? Let's see here, volume mixer. Okay, I think we should be good. I think we should be good. I can definitely understand that, Pika. That's... Yeah. That has to be really, really tough. Like, is there... Is there... Is there any particular reason why... You're, you know, you feel as like it's just kind of the state of the world um, for like health concerns, like physical safety concerns, or just, um, just anxiety about being other, around other people. And if you don't, if you don't want to go into specifics, totally understand. Totally understand. All right, let me see. Let's see. <laughs> There we go. There are so many ones about rainbows. What's on the other side? This is this is great. <sighs> Just for you, Tani. Mike, I I think I think a lot of that is outside of your control. You know, I think the obvious one you and I are involved in together and we've talked about this and we've talked with Dietz about it, and it's just we flew a little too close to the sun a little too early. It is what it is. Just gotta regroup and move forward. Game Pass counter is fantastic. Everybody loves it. I have not seen that, Fritz. I would like to see that, though. Yeah, it does, Mike. It does. I I have been there, buddy, and I know what you mean. Pika, that's that sounds like a pretty good idea, you know? Just like instead of pushing yourself out there, take tiny little steps. Um, you know, like I, I think that's something that it's hard to do at first. But by taking those small steps, you just take one little step and then you you know, as you adjust to that and take another. I mean, we we as humans we're we're pretty resilient. Like we're we're like for all of the shit that life throws at us, you know, we can handle it pretty damn well. 
And I know there's always going to be stuff that gets in the way, like that anxiety and, you know, like you said, being the way you grew up, um, it's it's a lot harder. But, you know, just those little steps can make a really big difference. Yeah. Yeah, Pika, I understand that. I I get it. There we go. That was good. That was good. I like that. You're good. Your face is Ooh. your face is Got better. It. Yeah, get get tricked or whatever. Reverse! Damn. Reverse. Well You activated my trap card. I mean, one of the things that is hardest for people with anxiety is you see things as large goals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're absolutely right. You have to break it into smaller things because little goals are just as valid as big goals. Absolutely. And, and it'll make you feel good when you're able to accomplish something small because that's progress. And when you set your sight to something so large that feels so overcomable, not overcome. Wait, I know the right word. So unachievable that you, you think would make everything perfect. It doesn't help the anxiety. So you have to do things slower. And it sucks because with anxiety, your mind's going a million miles an hour. So the little things would be like getting a bench to sit outside and then maybe taking a few steps, a walk around the block. And if you're having a really good day, maybe walking into a store and walking out. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you're right, Kit. Like those, those little goals are that can, it, it may seem something like something small to you or to somebody else, but you know, not everybody goes at the same pace. It's just, if we all went at the same pace, we'd all be the same. And that'd be kind of fucking boring. Um, you know, some people's, their, their idea is of small is, could be a huge deal to someone else. Um, and like Kit said, like those, those little goals, achieving those little goals, those are absolutely valid. You know, that's, and sometimes it's, it's even more satisfying because, you know, it's like, Hey, I did a thing. This is, this is great. This is fantastic. Um, so, you know, try taking those, those like little bit, little bits at a time and, and, you know, do your best. That's all that any of us can do is do your best. Meetups are good. Yep. Meetups are good. If that's, is that something that, that you can do? Um, I, I I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I did try a meetup before because of social anxiety, and I signed up for them and I didn't go. It it, it can be a very hard thing to do. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie, Tani. It, it's it, it, it's every person is different, but I am so glad that it definitely worked with you and was able to like get you into an activity because sometimes it is the activity that can help more so than the meeting people. People yep. equal anxiety, activity can equal relaxation. Yep. Why I was really, really sad to just like not really be interested in Pokemon Go anymore, if I'm being honest with myself. Yeah, that's... That that's... was a big thing for us when we first moved down here, because mm -hmm. it got us out and talking to people, and we have, we have a little friend group that, I mean, thanks to COVID, we haven't talked to them in a while, but like, we had a whole friend group that we had strictly through that game, and like we all kind of stopped playing it, but then. Well, I mean, like, you know, most of my IR, IRL friends, you know, Mike, I'm, I'm kind of in the reverse situation of you, um, where you moved away from yours. All of mine have pretty much scattered. Um, and then the ones that I was friends with, most of them were people from work, 
and I left that job, so I didn't see them every day anymore. Um, and then, of course, COVID hit, and so, you know, like the 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 one, the couple of people that I see IRL with any regularity anymore are one of the people from the old job and Lollipop, because he and I work together and we still see each other on occasion in person. Mostly oh, for sorry. Uh, what? <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> well, uh, hold on, I have something for this. Reverse! <laughs> Reverse! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking guy. I think we're also moving towards a less social, in-person social community in general. Yeah, I I agree, um, and that's one of the reasons why I I started doing this. Like that's why I'm here. Um, you know, I I couldn't do anything in person because, like the to to Tani's point, like I was the one who always wanted to go and do stuff and be out and 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 shit. Like I'm I'm the extrovert. Um. And now I don't want to even leave the house because I'm like, oh, this is home. This is where safe is. And like now I'm the homebody. Um, so like, I love I'm, my house. You do. I, lo you I have love a nice being house. in a house rather like I'm so glad we bought this house before the pandemic hit. Yeah. Yeah, streaming streaming is it's it's been it's it's been kind of a it's been a big deal to me. Like I've um it, one like I get to interact with people on a regular basis. Um and I've met a lot of people through streaming that I would not have met otherwise um that I now interact with on a regular basis. Um not just on stream but off stream too. Um, I did, um, yeah, Viv, Viv is one of those people. Viv, I would not have met had I not gotten into streaming and gotten into streaming communities on Twitch. Absolutely not. Not, um, like Mike, I know from streaming because we, we, um, that's the reason why I got involved with GPN. Uh, Cam is the same way. Um, I know Cam has moved on to other things, but still got to meet him because of it, you know, um, pup, I like alley pup. I, I talk to day in and day out. Um, and again, not for streaming would have never, would have never, uh, oh, go walk with your sister. Give her all of the hugs for me and tell her I love her and miss her. Cause you know, I love you and miss you too. Duh. Um, okie dokie, Tani. Um, ooh, nice, nice, very nice, Mike. Yep, yeah. Um, so Mike's got their podcast with their friend Caitlin, um, called Days Play Games. Um, it's about queer non binary folks who play games together and like you know, doing that from their perspective. Um, Cam's got a podcast. Uh, where, let me, let me go get links to all this stuff. All right, hold on. Let me get. So here is the, so if you're interested in they's play games. I, I love that name. Yeah. Isn't that great? So there's the link to all the they's play game stuff. And then let me go get. The stuff for the Hall of Gamers podcast. Ice bear good. More ice bear. More good. Pika, thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. And there's the stuff for the Hall of Gamers podcast, which is Cam's podcast. Um, and you know how I met a lot of people, especially a lollipop? Thank you, Viv. Yeah. Lollipop, you want to explain how I met you? Uh... Through critically acclaimed MMORPGs from Square Enix. You're not going to do the whole thing? Uh, aw. 
Yeah, oh, I'm sleepy. I'm he's, sleepy. He's yeah. He's he he's a he's a sleepy cat. Uh, yeah, Pika. So the 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 bubbles on the screen. Uh, that's who's talking. So there's me, obviously. Um, I'm on the bottom there. Lollipop is in the middle. Say hi, Lollipop. Hello. And then Kit is actually Lollipop's friend that he introduced me to. That they've been playing MMOs together for a very long time. Um, and uh, in chat, that's Star. So if you see Star in chat, that's Kit. Name's actually Raina. So hi. Yes. A weird way to spell fuckboy. Just because I like my dark knight in short shorts and an open shirt, and he's like tall and handsome and has like washboard abs and an emo look. Come on, man. That's my vibe. Just because just because just because you have this look doesn't mean you are this thing that you specifically try to look like, right? And- don't oh, worry. listen, I still love my Linkin Park. Give me my Linkin Park, my chemical romance. I told you I'm seeing my chemical romance in Barclay True. Center next year. Sure you are. I, I'm, I'm emo at heart. So, yeah. What did you walk into, Cotton? Oh, God. Listen, Candies, don't worry about it. Listen, we're just, we're just giving Kit shit about making all of her characters fuck boys. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you, Shadowless. I think Cameron. Thank you. It's true. You do have good taste in music. It's good stuff. I also like Backstreet Boys <laughs> and NSYNC, but Backstreet Boys more than NSYNC. Okay. Well, you're allowed. Okay. Also, Just to start the other war. Also, also, Lollipop, why are you being sus? <laughs> like, we can't overlook um, that. Why are you being sus? Because I'm, I'm... I have to clean the vents. I have to go clean vents with my body. With your body? With my body. Oh, I was about to say four years. Holy shit. Four times. That's that's not as bad. Whew. But still, yeah. Um I think Kit I would not play a bard. I don't think Sorry, Viv. Yeah, no, I don't think Kit would be like I think I think Kit would be great at it, but Kit wouldn't do it because Kit wants to hack and slash too much. Kit, Wait, what are you, I'm answering. What are you playing right now? Oh, you're see. Oh, see, you're you're tanking. Okay, okay, that's okay. I'm a tank healer. I was supposed to be a healer, but unfortunately, my companions are a a wizard, no, uh-huh. a sorcerer, a sorcerer and a monk, and I'm the cleric, but I'm a dwar- hill dwarven cleric named named. Uh, oh my god, why am I forgetting my name? I haven't played in like quite a few months. But I, I, I am a Scottish Hildwarf cleric who has the smackdown with the with the broadsword and the shield. You know how it goes, and then I cast spells and I make everyone happy and I give everyone D four rolls. Boy, I'm glad Louis's not here right now. Louis would just blast you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I can't I, I'm sorry, I took it from World of Warcraft dwarf that that accent. Holy shit. Thank you for that lurk, Candies. Um, so last time I played D and D, which was over 19 years ago, um, the last class that I played was bard. I was a bard. Really? Yep. Yep. I, I have had exactly... Two D and D sessions ever in my life. The first session, I witnessed a wizard take a critical hit from a rat and die. That sounds yeah. That and sounds then like something that would I happen with you involved. And I actually wasn't involved at all. I was because we were all in prison and we were all in separate cells. And he was too busy laughing at the person across the across the cell block from him who was jacking off a fairy and putting the stuff in a satchel and he was too busy laughing at that to see the rat that came up and you know you know that that gives a that gives a whole new meaning to the phrase great fairy fountain 
Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And speaking of uh, that that brand, my other session involved me being a halfling in someone getting. F- I was in a. I was a halfling. I someone had come up with gun had had gun mechanics for us, and someone had thrown me out of their backpack for an attack of opportunity, and I proceeded to shoot Link in the face four times. Yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of like when this day and age. So sort of like what we were talking about before, like Discord, Twitch, and everything. It. It can be a setup with what roll twenty and everything. Yeah. To like have a D and D night. It could be, yeah. That's true. That's true. I mean, honestly, if I had, if I had the time and bandwidth, I like if there were more nights or week that I could do it, I would probably consider spinning up a a D and D night, like once a week. Sit down, couple hours, go through, do our thing. Um. But I just. That's the thing. I don't have the time. Yeah, that's that's yeah, like that's it. Viv, Mike, that's the thing. Like this, the scheduling. It's it's hard. You know. I mean, luckily for you, Kit, you found like your Monday night thing that's working out for you so far. Yeah. It's not because we haven't played in weeks because our DM travels, and then oh, we were shit. all sort of newbies, and she's a newbie DM, and. Oh. Yeah. So that's what I meant by like I forgot my character's name because I haven't played in two months. Yeah. But we're in the mind we're we're on the minds of Fandolin uh campaign because you know, beginner campaign. Sure. And I can say that we got up to the we're moving towards fan we're moving towards the mine area. But yeah, we're only like level four. Like we haven't been playing that long. Yes, Dom. Yes, every just, just big cuddle puddle. Everybody, let's go, right now. Let's just go. Anybody who wants to cuddle, just cuddle puddle. I yeah. The last time I played, last time I played like fourth edition wasn't even a thing. Well, I've literally only played once, but if I could add more days of the week, because I definitely would not know how to DM. I, I would add it. Well done, Dom. You do, you do, Allie. It's true. You have all them. You all have all them cute pupper dogs and and kitterinos. Very cute kitterinos. It's true. They're little fuzz balls. Yeah, they're they're just the cutest little fuzz balls. Uh, we don't talk about fourth edition. Yeah, no, we do not talk about fourth edition. No, <laughs> not in this house. Dom, listen, I want, like, you can have, you can have your pet kangaroo. I, I want a pet, I want a pet, uh, drop bear. If you could hook that up for me, you know. Fucking kangaroo. Fucking kangaroos. And now Jeffy is still like, ah, WTF, mate. She did. She did. She got the house. Allie Pup got her house. Yes. She's, she's going through all the, the paperwork process now. Drop, Drop bears, platypus. Drop oh, bears, God. platypus. Hell yeah. Yeah, Fritz, same. Same. Mo- most of mine is 3.5. Yep. <laughs> like an hour and a half, like a documentary about drop bears. That's hysterical. Oh my god. A oh, full horror. What? Oh, that's that's What great. are drop bears? Okay. You so you ever seen a koala? Yeah, you mean those evil little things that can only eat one dot thing on their diet and shouldn't be able to survive but somehow do because basically they eat each other's poop, yeah. Okay. So, um I want you to take a koala. I miss you well. Oh, 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 oh. See, we have an expert here. They will drop out of trees, rip, rip off your face, and then eat it. It's true. Like, take, Wait, what? Take everything that you know about a koala, take all the cute parts away, and make it pure horror. That's what a drop bear is. They literally drop out of trees, and they attack. 
Do they give you chlamydia like Shadow says? No, they give you death. You don't have time. Oh. You don't have time to get chlamydia because you have death. Allie, did you eat anything else? Have you Just... eaten anything else? Don't make me say it. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. You know what I'll do. Wait, I have to ask though now. Thank you, Dom. I appreciate so, that. So it's better to be basically haunted by magpies during what is it, breeding or mating season? Yeah. Than to have a drop bear near you. I mean, listen. Okay, like, how violent do you want your death? Uh, no, thank you. Then I don't. Th I don't think drop bears are for you, friend. I don't think you want drop bears at all, or the magpies. But you know. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, well, they're different. Please, than, they're, I never they're want to go to Australia. They're different than koalas, Mike. They're not koalas. They're they're different. I want to go to Australia, but I don't want to go to Australia. You, you know, guys to scare Australia. me. You guys scare me. Listen, everything's trying to kill you there. It, literally, everything's trying to kill you. Everything's trying to kill you there. But I want to hear people say good day, mate. Like, I love it. No, oh, Jesus. The accent's so amazing. Sydney Harbor is beautiful. It's true. It's true. No, I wouldn't want to go to the Outback. I admit that. I would not want to go to the Outback. Hey, Kit. Kit. Yeah, yeah. He's back. Don't do the thing. Like, do you want it with full on, like, Aussie Strine in it? Or, like, no. I just want to hear you talk, just like I like to hear English and Scottish people talk. That's what that's what we well, got I Dom here go, for, Fritz. I could go I could go find a dictionary and start reading it. Ooh, sexy, super sexy. See, Read me see. that dictionary. Ardvark. I, I, I have had to sit here and listen to an entire raid night of some random Aussie that we we picked <laughs> up one time. Oh my god. We were doing Nathria. And yeah. Kit would just wanted to listen to him talk the whole night. <laughs> and was I the raid lead on that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. Of course, of course, of course you were, Kit. And why like I knew the, I knew the answer before you even good. finished asking More the question. Bear. More good. Oh. It, 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 oh, Viv. Born, thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. Oh. Viv. <laughs> Viv. 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 Viv, no. Viv, yes. Viv, yeah, do well. it. <laughs> no. Do the binds. Do it, you coward. You won't. A Boston accent. Boston. Boston. Not Boston. Boston. It's Boston. Boston. I could just start reading Zunder's tweets. Oh my God, Zunder! <laughs> Wait, Zunder's my... tweets as in Isala? You, you want to read my no, shit in... out loud? Oh Zunder's God, right. Score. All right. Person I'm learning is named Zach, and I should know this. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Listen, don't worry about it. Wait, wait, wait. What, what's this? Fair go, mate. Fair suck off. Uh, uh, uh. Fair suck of the sauce bottle. Fair crack of the whip. Dom, I think that's your cue, buddy. Mm, do I have to explain it all? <laughs> Well, fair go, mate, means basically, like, nice try, and don't know the other two. Not gonna lie. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, fair, well, fair suck of sauce, but I was usually used when to protest against someone who's been completely unreasonable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I don't know, but I'm reading Viv's Advoc right now. Advoc. She spelt it perfectly. It's Advoc. Advoc. No, Viv, you are. You're an Advoc. Nah, nah. Viv's wicked. Wicked smart, don't you know? Wait, what's in my pocket? Oh. Butt stuff. It's, uh, what's it's in the... your pocket? It's oh. The... Or are you it's... just happy to see me? It can, it can be both. <laughs> it's, the, uh, it's the tie for the robe. Because I didn't have it attached to this one. This one is the one. This is my IKEA robe. It's nice. It's actually really thick, but like 
it's thick, but like it's got some heavy. Swedish ass name, doesn't it? Oh, I don't, I don't remember. Let me go see. Let me go see what it has. Because I think it's still on the website. Let's see. I, have, yeah. I, I bought stuff from IKEA, but I don't think I've ever bought furniture from IKEA. I'm scared. Mm. Yeah, back in my world, I just have people just telling me just to continuously talk in like ventrilo at the time because they just wanted to hear the accent. Really? I'm sorry, Dom. Oh, Dom I get the maybe. feeling that is a get, common thing for. It's common because usually, like, if you're playing with North Americans, we don't hear you guys are like what eleven hours ahead, fifteen hours ahead. Yeah, it's currently ten thirty in the morning here on Thursday. If that helps you. Yeah. So. So. Oh God, Dom, that's fourteen hours ahead. Dom's fourteen hours ahead. Cam is fifteen hours ahead. Cam's New Zealand. Or different part of Australia. My state doesn't do daylight savings. Yeah. Mm. Because. Because cows can't tell time. Oh God! The the so I, in... the IKEA name for this robe. That is the IKEA name for the robe. Rock on. I guess. Rock and roll. Oh, rock on. I guess so. Wait, Australia has five time zones. Well, currently. Yeah, because of daylight savings. Right, like we have we have five time zones currently. But I do have to get back to work, but I'll read one of his tweets. Oh, okay, Let's okay. See. Read we read one of my shit posts. As we shit post. Fuck. Okay. I listen, like I anything I put out a shit post. Like I you, you you see my Twitter, it's it's just all garbage. It's that's it's just like <laughs> this things come it's out of my work. head and into the keyboard. When I was in high school, I put together my own prep packet for Windows XP release, complete with screenshots and feature summaries, and carried it around in a special folder I kept. Also, I took my lunch in a biology teacher's classroom to watch the launch event live. That's true. Oh I, my god! I did do all of those things. In high school? Yeah, yeah. XP came out in two thousand one. Yeah, that's high school. Yeah, I was a junior. I was a sophomore. Yep. So, oh my god, yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna say it even though I'm a nerd too, but nerd, yeah, yeah. I, I put together my little packet with the uh, with like the screenshots and like for each different feature and the new login screen because that was when they introduced like the, the, the clickable tiles for your login, uh, your, your username and shit like that. So, like, yeah, oh yeah, which, which Windows is this? XP. I was in grade three when XP came out. Just saying. Oh, for fuck's sake! Same. I graduated kid. high school in '03, so yeah. Oh, Same. so we were in junior. It was after September, I guess. Yeah, it was. I uh, was in it was sixth October. grade. Oh my god! Well, you know, it's have fun. I have to go tell users to fucking turn off printers. Uh, have fun, Dommy. Bye, I love Dom. you, buddy. I'll be in chat. Okay. Or Dommy's got to work because it's a Thursday morning for him. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. But isn't it so weird that everyone just said their years and it's like, oh my god, I, I, I'm heartbroken now. What, Sorry for the swear. <laughs> what, what, what the f Tom? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what the, f the fuck are you talking about? Wait, yeah. fuck, 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 and you make fuck, fuck? Yes, that's correct. That's that's okay. absolutely correct. Yeah, Sammy, we're, yeah, we're, 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 we're older folks around here. <laughs> like, don't, don't call me old. I'm 36. I mean, listen, you're, you're not the oldest. I, I realized that since someone was in college. Well, and in 03. Well, yeah. Yeah. But Viv graduated high school in 2012. Fritz is that over there. That blows my mind right now. Fritz is over there, like, shaking his walker with the tennis balls at the kids to get off his lawn. Hmm. No swear. The Six Flags. Yes. Six Flags. Yeah, I haven't been to a Six Flags in, Jesus Christ, forever. Listen, Tani, we can be both. We can be sweary care bears. No sweary, that's bullshit and almost got thrown out. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember if it's... 
I'm trying to remember if it's the Six Flags near where I used to live, but I think it I think it was that Six Flags. Someone took a drone through it and it's been abandoned for like yeah, over a it's decade o- now. It's, oh, it's yeah. Ohio, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah, that's that, that's been abandoned and it's really creepy. Yeah. Yeah, so I I'm from Georgia. So my Six Flags was actually native to my state. I had Six Flags over Georgia in Atlanta um or just outside of Atlanta. And uh that was actually a good one. That was the one Mine's I think with the, uh, the Superman roller coaster that everybody like went like ape shit for when it came out. Swearing is caring. It's true. It's true. That's why I gave oh. that, that thing at Wait, that seminar at work. But, but the didn't drone, that... the one with the drone was in uh, New Orleans. Oh, oh yes. Sorry. Dr- flew a drone. Yeah, but there's also one in Akron, Ohio that's been abandoned for ever. Yeah. And it, it kind of has the same issues. Yeah. yeah, but I think the one I think they showed it the one from like not long after Katrina, the one from New Orleans, and it was really depressing. It sort of felt like that abandoned place in, by Chernobyl. That was a sort of feel you got that vibe. I just I just don't understand. Like I guess it doesn't. I guess it just doesn't. You don't have to pay to tear any of that down. Like. I don't know why all that doesn't come down. Yeah. Someone has to buy the property and like they have to pay to pair it, tear it down, I think. Because capitalism. Capitalism. That's why. Listen. Listen. I I have been a very good capitalist in no man's sky. Biv, you've you've the literally just been crashing great economies adventure. with cobalt and chlorine. You're the fucking pool guy. I'm the pool guy. <laughs> Yeah. So the Six Flags Great Adventure in Jersey, they have a safari and they have a water park. And because of COVID, the safari has been a dri- self drive through. But Oof. unlike years ago, where they used to allow basically ostriches to peck at your window and monkeys Dumb. to pull at your w- wipers and everything, they're all they're all um, actually kept behind fences now. But yeah. Hear me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, won a bit, like... That sounds like... I, I forget what that one water park was, Tani, but, like, there's the whole thing about how water parks and water slides specifically didn't have any regulations around them. So the one water slide that was, like, really just ridiculously fast, and they had the safety netting... But like there was the one piece of rope and it like like took somebody out. Like what the shit, man. Am I allowed to add a link to the Twitch? Sure. It's just pictures of abandoned amusement parks. Sure. Go ahead. Travel channel. Yep. Yep. It's a nice hole to dig yourself into, actually. Yeah. It, it, it's a deep dive. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tony. A lot of bad things happen there. Yeah, yeah. Wait, which one was it? The bad things class action. Boy, what? Class action park. Yeah, yeah. That's the the name of the uh, the documentary about it. Okay, I gotta look that up. Yep. Yep. Uh, it just came out like last year. Oh, and I'm subscribed to HBO Max. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. I think that's what I'm watching before I go to bed. Allie, how's the steak? Oh, uh, so Allie was, she was like, she was excited this afternoon because she learned that Outback now delivers to her. Um, and they hadn't before. Ooh. So she's like, what do I get? What do I get? I'm like, well, it's the first time you're ordering from... Well, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. But it's still pretty good, right? Like, you know. Um, God, Twitch just butchers fucking links. Um, but, uh, 
yeah so she's like she's like what do i get i'm like well it's the first time you're ordering delivery from the outback so you gotta get a steak and so she ordered a steak and she ordered her her blooming onion and she got her french onion soup and she got a ribeye because she didn't decide she couldn't decide which cut she wanted i was like i'm like how did you feel when you woke up this morning she's like well i didn't she's like i didn't wake up wanting steak i'm like no 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 like just in general she's like I want to go back to bed. I'm like, then you deserve a ribeye. You need that marbly, deliciously, delicious goodness. So. Uh, like rib steak more than ribeye. I love ribeye. Although I do love like a good prime rib. Yeah, right, Ayla? Like Twitch, Twitch, the, the Twitch parsing of links is just. Wait, it didn't notify you? What the shit? I didn't get the notification either. That's weird. Usually, even if I'm on stream, it'll notify me on my phone. Damn. I did it. You probably did it. I I, I don't believe you. Miss Ayla, she, uh, she cut her hair. Ooh. She did. She... <laughs> And her hair was long. I I also I too blame Lollipop. I too blame Lollipop Alley. I think, yeah. Oh mm, I think I'm gonna have to invoke the um the ancient ritual of picks or it didn't happen. Oh that's true. That's true. Ayla, you should go you should go post some in selfies and stuff so everybody can see all of your hair that you cut off. Um, the au jus is really good, but I think depending on the roast and how it's cooked, you can get away with it without the au jus. Like mine, mine's amazing. Now, not listen. Reverse. There's reverse. Well done, Dom. Well done. Um, so my prime rib, and there aren't a lot of things that I'm like particularly proud of like the, it's not like that like i'm ashamed of stuff that i do there's just like not a lot of stuff that i'm just like huge on like that like that i think that i just excel at but making my prime rib and my turkey are two of those things so what i do with my prime rib is i will get it and then i will wrap it in cheesecloth and I will put it in the fridge for two or three days and let it dry age in the fridge. And then I'll unwrap it. And usually when I do the dry aging, I'll just take some Lowry season salt, put on it, because it's got like garlic and onion powder and stuff already in it. Um, so have it seasoned down pretty good. And again, put it all in there and um, in the the cheesecloth so by the time a couple of days have passed the meat has had a chance to both expel the juice because you know naturally the spices are going to start drawing out the moisture but then reabsorb it um so once i do that then i'll take it out and i'll take along the fat cap and i will like put slits into the fat cap just all over the top and I'll take whole cloves of garlic and just right into the slits and then after that I do some coarse sea salt it's it's only lewd if you make it lewd Dom I think that's a lewd for Dom because he made it lewd reverse oh. reverse um, now it's lewd for you no, no, you activated, you activated her trap card. Dang. Um, but uh, I just love the fact that you're poking your your uh, your cloves of garlic into the holes. It's true. <gasps> it's true. I am. <gasps> Baby. Oh, there's there's a kitty. Wait, on... what? There's an alley kitty. Pop. Look at that. Totally just got distracted. Sorry, guys. No, no, it's okay. There's a there's a distracting kitty here. We're We'll show we'll show Ali pups, sweet kitten cat. Oh, 
It's Jay. It has to be Jay. I saw him meow. It has to be Jay. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. there's <laughs> Jay a, is trying so hard. There, there's, there's a pup and a kitty. And pup is wearing an Ayla shirt. So, let's see. First of all, uh, we need, where's the thing? Because we love the pup very much. And then also... Even though the pup isn't streaming right now. Even though the pup's not streaming. It's okay. You got a lot going Hi, on. Hi, Jay. You got a lot going on. So, you know, it's fine. I, Wait, I, I, Jay. I, I, I see the it. Outback. I see the Outback right there. The evidence is there. Mm -hmm. um, Silent Bob is still eating the wet food that I just put down for them. Like the lunchbox that he is. But then, <laughs> but Pup was also wearing uh, a shirt from Miss Ayla. So I if, sure am. If you like that shirt, the Sanderson Sisters Brewing Company and all the other cool and fun and spoopy stuff that she's got going in her shop right now, go check out her stuff. It's really neat. It's fantastic. And I love you both very much. Oh. My kitty is right, because Jay and Silent Bob. They're so cute. But I still want to see the pups more, Allie. Well, they're not really in the room right now because of the kittens. I know. We don't have a full zoo yet. New house will have a zoo. Mm -hmm. I'm... Did, I, did I not? Oh, I guess I didn't post the one earlier that I took of me with Jackson. No. I will post that one. Oh, he's such a good boy. He's such a sweet old man. He, is. he has a very rough life. <laughs> rough. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pork <laughs> joke, you see. That's that's <laughs> it's cause he's it's his cause he's one of the the, the, the I, pepperonis. I, did, I posted it in Tab's Discord and I tagged Ayla because I'm wearing her shirt, but uh -huh. I didn't post it in yours and I should have. I'm oh sorry. I mean, it's, I it's failed fine. you. No, no, I have failed you. All right, well that's all time. right, so you know, sorry. if if you insist. But there it is. So cute. Me cuddling with the Jackson pup. Old man Jackson. Oh, he's so comfortable. He doesn't care. He's such a good oh, boy. Oh, yeah. He was snoring away on me. He's such a good boy. <clears throat> I was also laying like backwards on my bed because mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to sleep. I was trying to like have some quality time with the doggos without passing out. Yeah. I, I didn't pass out. So, you know, there's that. There you go. There you go. Listen, that's as long as you're. So you're still awake from earlier. Mm hmm. Well, good. Maybe you'll. Maybe Somehow. You, it'll get you back onto a good sleep cycle tonight and you'll actually sleep through the night. Well, given that I have to um, be on and functional and doing stuff for work at 7 30 tomorrow morning, I really hope so. Yeah, I do too. Um, <sighs> you don't have to be in the office, do you? No, but I'm the second chair for the our big all day thing. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. But gotcha. that also means I have to take the dogs out before seven thirty so that I can just be on. Yeah, so you basically have to be up and functional at seven. Mm hmm. Pretty much. I believe in you. I believe in you. I I I don't, but thank you. Well, I do. That's it's that's it's what I do. It's what I do. Yeah, Viv, you have... Oh, the many services you provide? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh, I hi. would say so. Oh, oh, you just you just fell there, bud. Uh, I don't... I Sleep is... Um... So, Dom, imagine... So, like, you know how you're awake? Now imagine that you're not. It's kind of like that. Oh, yeah. Wait, I... you lost me. I'm sorry. What, the sleep thing yeah yeah it's 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 different you know it's it's yeah don't worry you know how like okay think of it like you know how you have that really big comfy armchair mm -hmm. okay you know how it's kind of like a time machine to where like you go lay down with the doggos and, and cuddle with them and then suddenly mm -hmm. several hours have passed mm -hmm. the thing that you did in the middle like during the time machine process that's sleeping. Oh. Yeah, so when you're in the time <laughs> machine, that's sleeping. Yeah. Okay, bud. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. 
Don't want me to hold you right now. Got it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry if I offended you, Jay. Oh, poor Kitty. He just wants to just be everywhere except one spot. He wants to be everywhere simultaneously. Um I guess I guess Jay is the more independent of the two. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Bob just kind of chills out. He's very chill. They're actually both over um. Oh, they're playing with each other right now. Here, wait, let me see if I can... Angle. Uh, what is up with this game? Doo -doo -doo. Oh, so yeah. Yep, it's... Uh, I gotta try to get some rest in the next couple of days. Some good rest tonight and tomorrow night, because... Oh, uh, yes, Vivian, you should get to bed. Get to bed, sir. I love you. Get all the good sleepy sleeps. Let's I gotta take sleep. care of something. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. There's both uh. of them. Oh, we got the cam back. Looking yeah, bad. I tried to move one of them and I apparently uh, made it unhappy. This is actually a different camera. This is the doggo cam. <laughs> I have uh, four cameras. Three of them are set up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your meeting, Dom. I know you won't, but, you know. Yeah, go get those sleepy sleeps, Viv. Do it, you won't. Sleep well, Viv. I love your face. Do it, you won't. No, you. Where's the, where's the button? Where's my button? I got a button for this. Reverse! Yeah. Reverse! Yeah, I told you, Viv. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked. Reverse. So, <laughs> I need like, what's the what's the the like the bird emote like the little dancing bird, the little like rainbow shimmery dancing bird? I have no clue. Al, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Oh, I had to take my earbud out of my ear for a second. What? The little like the little dancing bird emote, the little head that yeah. kind of bobs around. I don't remember what it's called, but I know it's a thing. I, I, I got, I got, a, I got a silent bob. You got a bob? Oh, look at mm -hmm. the baby. He just a baby. Bob is just like I'll take all the pets, and I'll give you kisses too. Yep. Yes, I'm giving you kisses. Bob is very chill. He's a very chill He's so cat. Chill. He's just happy to be there, man. Right. Which I mean, you know, I you. hey. Hell yeah, y'all. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, I can't. Oh, there's the icon. Conga Parrot. Okay, I'm getting a little, like... I'm starting to get a little annoyed with, like, the games emailing you after you've played them thing. Like, I got an email a little while ago from Nintendo... Hey, thanks for playing Metroid Dread. Like, I, I don't need this email. I gave <laughs> you money. You provided me with an experience that I paid you the money for. We're done here. This is like the Mitch Hedberg and the receipt for the donut thing. It's like, I give you money, you give me a donut. We do not need to get ink and paper in, involved in this. Mm -hmm. oh. don't, don't need a receipt for a donut. <laughs> I'm going to take it home and yeah. file it under D. For donut. It, it, it's a, but it's a marketing tactic. I know exactly you know, what like, it is because you scroll right. It's like, hey, thanks for playing this game. Scroll down, find your next adventure, and here are four other games that you could buy. Yeah. Like, nah. I love him so much. No, he's a sweet boy. He's a very sweet boy. He's just giving lots of kisses. That's what's so f adorable. No, he hasn't given me any kisses. He's literally just sitting here. He's, he's just kind of. Like, he's just kind of sniffing. Well, I mean, a sniffer cat can be. <laughs> no, a but kiss. he wasn't even doing that until just there. Like he's for literally just roadside been sitting attraction. Here. here are three he's reasons you should come back, right? That's that's all the fuck it is. That's all it is. Just been chilling. So I have to ask. Remember to mute browser tabs, not streams. So that's actually not difference? as much a thing anymore. Yeah, they so fixed it. That used to be a thing where. Um, when you're watching streams on Twitch, 
Um, and they've 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 changed a lot of how that how that works even in like the last year. Um, but what would happen is if you were watching a stream and you muted the stream on the video feed itself, then Twitch would not count that as a view. So if I had say 20 people watching a stream and 10 of them were watching it and had muted the actual video itself, then it would have only counted for 10 people. Um, and they f I hope they fixed that because that's how I'm on Discord with you. If not, I'd have to mute the tab, like you said. They, they, they have, they have fixed a lot of that. They have. They've, they've changed a lot of how that works. Like um, uh, embedded views used to not count. So if you had the player embedded, it used to not count toward your view counts. And they've, they've changed it, some of how that works. It doesn't count still if you have a multi, like a multi link. Yeah. Multi stream that still doesn't count. Yeah. And I don't I think it's I even all why. of them. I think it's some of them. I think it depends on like some of the embeds. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So many sneezes. Oh, oh, oh. my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Holy crap, dude. Are you oh, okay? I almost had time to put that up. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah embedded views are definitely discounted that's that's part of the reason why like i thought about standing oh jesus is he doing it again oh my god yeah yes. okay i gotta i gotta put this up and see if we can see if we can actually catch this in action well now he's like rubbing his nose okay, oh my bud? god he just had a ridiculous <laughs> sneezing fit like choo, 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 choo. There were at least fifteen in there. It was. It, it like it was. It was. Oh 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 oh. There we go. Oh, oh no, that was, oh. No, that was only a couple. That was only a couple, but like it was. That it was, was some so rapid much, fire I, succession. It, it's so. so cute when cats sneeze, though. I think, and then they I do the rubby really of the bad. nose. And then they do the little rubbies. I know. I know. I know. But yeah, this is Silent Bob. He's a sweet boy. He's Silent Bob, not so silent with the season. He's sneezes. he's he's a little bit darker than Jay, and he's got a little break in the white on his nose. Yeah, oh. and he's much more chill. But I also think he might have like a cold or something. Oh, I mean, obviously with with all those sneezes. Yeah, uh, I think multiple sneezes indicate allergies for cats. Oh, so it could just be you're wearing a new lotion or something and triggered him. I never get and the usually he's cleaning pieces. himself right next to my face. Oh my god! See if you can get him to lick you. <laughs> conga parrot. No, I'm good. That's what it's called. Viv Viv found yeah. it for me. It's conga parrot. That's that's the that's that's the dancing verb thing. Bean. Thank you for the beans, Viv. Is that? The no. pick and uh, critters. Yeah, I was gonna see. I I know that sometimes BTTV has them um, has emotes that aren't there, that aren't in like normal Twitch. Yeah. Oh. Hashtag bean. Hashtag content. Kitty bean. It is on Slack. Yeah, it's on Slack. It's it's in Discord. I don't know if it's native to Discord. Oh oh no, oh, it's not. Oh, we got both of them. Oh. Quick switch, quick switch. Okay, let's see if I can get this going. There we go. Look at those kitties. Those little meow meows. Yeah, oh. Jay actually wants to love right now. And he's he's still gonna yell about it though. <laughs> As he do. As very, do. very talkative. Hi. Fantastic. And, and Lunchbox is just cleaning himself. It's true. It's true. It's Baffer's time, as Mo would like there to say. There goes the meows. Yep. There he goes. So adorable. Sweet. Kitties. How old are they now, Allie? Like three months. They were born on um, August 2nd. Oh. Dang. One yeah. week till their three month birthday. Get them a little cakes or something. 
and by cakes. They just get a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of toys and stuff. It's true. It's true. I mean, you did just get them a home, so you know that's that's pretty nice too. I mean, too. that too. It's not like they were homeless before. Well, no, no, that's not what I mean. But I mean, like, you got them a new one, a different one, you know. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? Are you going exploring? Are you going for a big explore, Jay? Ooh. On my desk, which Ooh. is kind of a dangerous place for you to be doing a big heck and explore. Yeah, I'm uh I'm hoping we we can we're we're talking about looking in Decemberish to go start looking for a kitty. So we'll so, see. So so I messaged you you got to listen to my yelling earlier about work stuff. Yeah. And I one of my friends um works for the same place I do and she works in the um the learning development group. And she was like, do you want to come work on my team? They're hiring ISDs. Unless you can manage a team because I need a new boss. <laughs> I mean, do you want to manage a team? No. All right, that's fair. But I would go do instructional design. Yeah. 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 Please explain to my noobishness what instructional design is. Oh, Jay, what the hell is that happening? Jay stole. Is Jay sneezing too? No, it was almost like hairball type. Mm. Mm. It wasn't but a yeah. sneeze though. Hi. But yeah, what's what's instructional design? Basically designing courses. <laughs> Sorry. Designing courses? Mm-hmm. In, like, for, like, what? For anything. Instructional design is literally the process of designing courses, like, for um, continuing education, for just training in general. Um I would assume you can use you would use instructional design for college courses. Yep. So cool. I, and that's the example that I was going to say is, um, Kit, you you ever taken like an, an online course for anything? Uh, unfortunately. So a lot well, of times, an instructional designer created that. Yeah, an instructional course. designer created that course. Um, now whether I'm only or not saying was... unfortunately because of the presenter, the trainer himself. Yeah. 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 No, I don't do the actual teaching. I just. Uh, well, for what I have done up to this point isn't the actual designing of the courses. I've been the like technical back end person for online training. So like if people have trouble logging in, if people have trouble getting something to work, I'm the one who actually uploads the content into the learning management system. Like I do all of the administrative and back end stuff. I do everything except the actual instruction. Yeah, the instructors aren't always that great. No. And it is sort of funny when they get locked out of the system. I love it. Okay, so 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 here's here's a funny thing. So my my two jobs ago, the uh, director of learning technologies. So you know the person who was in charge of all of this stuff. He had me reset his password for Adobe Connect basically anytime he wanted to use it, rather than either remembering what it was himself. Or clicking the reset my password button right below the login part. If he really needed to reset it. But no, I had to manually reset it for him. Wow, it sounds like you work for city government. No, actually, that was, uh, that was a training company. I, I, I'm not even joking. That That's what our IT gets inundated with. Lots of reset passwords requests. I mean, that's what most IT gets inundated with. I don't think that's unique to anything. I'm on the front end, not the back end, so I cannot comment. I, I have mostly been on the back end. It doesn't really matter what industry you're in. It's like that everywhere. Oh, God. It's because computers were a dumb. mistake. And because people are dumb. Also, yes. Because humanity <laughs> was a mistake. Also, also this yes. is like really not very comfortable, but I really don't want to disturb Bob. So I'm 
keeping so my it's arm extremely in a comfortable. very, very uncomfortable position for my cat. Listen, it's, to clean himself. To clean himself. It's cat law. Me. You can't move. You can't violate okay, we cat are not, law. We, we are not knocking the, uh, the, the steak container off of my desk. Sorry, dude. He wants in the steak container, and you know it. I don't actually know that he does. I want in the steak container. <laughs> I dumped I, the garlic butter on top of it before I started eating it. Oh, oh. yeah, that's the good stuff. Mm. Oh, he um, might num, want num, in num, it. Num, num, num. The only reason why I would ever go to Outback is for their bread. Their bread and butter, man. That that bag back there is a uh, bread. Bean calls oh. it spicy bread. I know Bean is cute. Bean is Please adorable. Please don't walk on my it's keyboard. True. Oh, Jay. Uh, she is, as Viv would say, best human being. She is best human being. Okay, there. Is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bob. Okay, I don't good. Want to change. you're not disturbed by my adjusting you so that I can actually feel my arm again. What, Jay? You're the one that wanted down. You could be up here too. So based on this, oh my god, he's chewing on my webcam. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Wait, seriously? Yeah, he just started chewing on the back of my webcam. Nom 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 nom. Uh, I don't know. So based on the the name of the title of this song, do you wish it would never stop snowing? I mean, I do. Really? I like snow. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, you we've had this it. discussion. I know, we've had this Wait, discussion. Snow, like, it. with wind or just the snow falling? Just the snow falling. Just the snow falling. A very light, gentle snow. Just You guys just... gotta go back to Ohio for that. <laughs> no, I live in D I live in Maryland. We get snow here. Yeah, that's true. Maryland gets snow, but but Lolly and uh Lollipop doesn't want snow. He doesn't want he anything cold. Have it. Yes, but right. And what do you mean? And what do you mean by like night? There's no like nice soft snow in Ohio. It's right by a lake. I know you get the lake effect. You, well, you got the lake effect all the time. It's true. Mm -hmm. it's it was true. sort of hilarious how how. I mean, we get it in New York City too, and yes, Boston gets it, but uh, when. It comes to snow, like Buffalo, Rochester, they get dumped on. Like they yeah. actually have underground tunnels in Buffalo University so that back. people can go to class. That's how much snow they get. What uh what lake did you did did you all get up there in Ohio? Is that the stuff coming off of Erie? Uh yes. Okay. Is it sad I don't I don't really remember the lakes, I just remember the acronym Holmes. Um, Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, Superior. Yeah, and isn't it like so? It's I want to say so. If you're looking at Michigan, if you're looking at Michigan. I guess I guess if you're looking at it like like this, because do it from y'all's perspective, so you can like look at it. So if you're looking at Michigan, so you've got like was it Superior is up here. You've got Michigan down here. Then you've got like. What's what's the one over on this side of 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 the LP? Is that well, Erie's the one by New York. That's all. I Erie's know. the one by New York. Erie's the one that's and like Ohio. Along, and Ohio, yeah, along the bottom the bottom edge there. I don't remember. I don't remember where the other two are. Huron and Ontario. Yeah, I'm I'm assuming that Huron is the one that's like the one that's like over there, and then. Like the one that's further up, and then Ontario is the one that's like here. Aha! Did I get it right? So Superior is the one north. Yeah. Lake Michigan is the one most west. Yep. Underneath Superior, Huron is in between Erie and Michigan. Oh, uh, okay. So I have the two mixed and up. And Ontario, and Ontario is northeast of Erie. Oh, okay. So Ontario is the one that's on. Like on Massachusetts side, I consider it. Yeah, so Ontario and so. Oh no, sorry, it's New York. Oh, I okay, I messed that up. Okay, Lake Superior is in Minnesota, and on and Ontario, part of Ontario, right? By Wawa, Canada, Michigan is 
by you know Wisconsin and Minnesota. Huron right. is in between, I guess, Ontario and the bottom half of Minnesota. Yeah. So, Erie is Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York, and New York and um, New York and Canada is uh, Ontario. Okay, so, so I got Huron and Ontario mixed up. So Ni- the falls connect Erie and Ontario, not Erie and Huron. Yeah, that's what it looks like because Buffalo is literally on the border of Erie and Ontario. Okay, okay, that's so. Yeah, I got I got Huron and Ontario mixed up. Okay. Well, I was close. I'd never get that in my life unless I look at a map. That's thank you, North uh, American U.S. education system. I I I I took a qualifying test for the National Geography Bee once. I didn't qualify, but I got asked to take the test, so that was nice, I guess. That means you can actually name things. I I can't even name all the states looking at a map. I'd get them mixed up. I can do most of them. Don't ask me the difference between New Hampshire and Vermont. I okay. So here's you want to know how I I remember the difference between New Hampshire and Vermont. Okay, Vermont is west. New Hampshire is east. That's not how I remember, but all right. Um, when you're looking at them up against each other. Vermont is the one that's actually shaped like a V. Okay, I gotta go look at a U.S. map now. Yep. So Vermont's the one that's shaped like a V. That's how I remember Vermont versus New Hampshire. Oh no, stop it. I wanna make you larger. Oh, Vermont is shaped like That's a V, lead. and New Hampshire is sort of shaped like a lowercase n, then. Lewd. You get the lewd for that. She wasn't trying to be lewd. But, like, if you look at, like, Wyoming and Colorado, I yeah. get mixed up. They're both squares. And I always mix up, for some reason, the placement of Alabama and Mississippi. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. Legally, I, legally I'm obligated to remember that. Is that because Alabama touches the tip of Florida, just the tip? Well, okay, so for, all right, that one, that one's actually on you. Um, but no, because I'm from Georgia, and I have to remember the arrangement of the southern states. Um, otherwise, they, they, re- they take away my sweet tea immunity, and then I immediately go into a diabetic coma. <laughs> okay i i respect that but yeah. like even you even heard when i was doing the maps i mixed up minnesota and michigan hey you know it's super fun what uh-oh my washing machine isn't draining oh no oh no oh no Yeah. You think the pump on it's broken? I have no idea. It's not my problem. Oh, that's a good point. It's not your problem. That's that, true. You still live in an apartment. I don't care why. They just need to fucking fix it. That's true. That's what you pay them hundreds of dollars a month for, is to give yep. you an apartment with working amenities. Yep. That's very also, true. Also, Fritz, what is continental snow? Oh. Oh. Fritz is gonna tell you because Fritz from Fritz is from that neck of the woods. Oh boy! That's why I asked. I'm like, we were talking about lake effect, but th- what's this thing called continental? Oh man, Fritz knows all about that stuff because Fritz is uh, well. Uh no, I haven't heard of an Alberta clipper, an but Alberta it sounds clipper. like it's from Canada. It definitely sounds like Canada. Yep, it is. Oh. So it's a fast-moving, low-pressure system that originates up in Alberta, just east of the Rockies, and then it tracks southeast, and it comes, like, right across, like, the northern U.S. Oh. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
That does n that does not sound that sounds worse than a nor'easter. Jackson. No. So Jackson, they, yes. <laughs> Jackson. They are associated with cold, dry continental ice air masses. Good. More ice bear. More good. Rob, thank you for that follow. Um, they are associated with cold, dry continental air masses and generate small-scale, short-lived weather events, typically producing three to six inches of snow in a three to six hour period. However, they can precipitate sudden temperature drops and sharp winds leading to local blizzard conditions, especially when interacting with moisture from the Great Lakes. There's Panda being very interested in the kittens. Oh. And Jackson being Jackson. Oh. Aww. What a sweet old man. He's such a good boy. Hi, Pupper. Look at that. Hi, Pupper. Listen, Fritz, I was just reading from Wikipedia, man. Don't give me any credit. I, I, I was just reading what the thing said. Hold on. Oh, we nice. got to. Oh, we gotta look at the Jackson pup for a second. Yeah, Jackson's being a good boy. He's always a good boy. He's such a good boy. He's like good so boy, sweet man. and so chill, and he just like he likes to hang out with mom and Say take hello. naps. Say hello. Say hello. Hi. Oh, what a good boy. There's Jackson face. Love you. Look at those ear scratches. Look at those ear scratches. And then, and then before you go away over there by there's the baby the, gate, where, where the kittens are eating their food, there, there's Panda. That's the panda. <laughs> She's being also, a very the curious pup. hoodies that I take off as soon as I come in here because I'm like, it's cold outside. I'm hot. <sighs> also, yes. And the stairs that I cannot figure out how to affix to the cat tree. Also, also, yes. Panda, you are very interested in the kittens or their food. It could, both. it could be a little both. A little column A, a little Probably column both. B. What are you doing, Bubba? Being a good boy. I love you. I mean, I wish Viv was here so she can complain about, you know. He. He, sorry. He can complain about Boston. Hey. Hey. He, I mean, he, he. Oh, my God. Listen, no one can complain about where they live like the people who are from there. <laughs> All right, that's how well, I know I mean, Georgia, Podunk, Georgia. Never again. I mean, New York City, man. Summer just smells of oh, piss and and garbage. Like Does almost it, all of Staten Island smells of garbage during okay. the summer. So that's 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 what I that's something that I've always wanted to know. And you being a New York native. I can I can now verify. So New York really does. Did you, just... did you see Jackson try to come back in? I don't no, know. No, did he really? Back. Oh my god, yes. What a... I'm like, let's go, and he turns around. I had to grab his harness to get him to leave. Oh my god. He was like, but mom, I don't want to go. He's like, no, I'm I'm here. No, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay, mom. I'm gonna stay. Um. So, as a New York native, you can confirm that parts or most of New York City. Basically smells like piss and garbage at any given time. Not at any given time. It depends where you are. So all months will be like the subway, some of those subways. But during the summer when it's humid. Yeah. Like Staten Island is built on fresh kills uh, dump. So the smell just can permeate sometimes, which... Considering the more expensive houses are built, the newer ones are built on more dump. Yeah. And I mean, we have a garbage transfer stations in like different parts of Brooklyn. I live near one. So you can smell it if it's really hot and humid. But I mean, a slight odor of piss, you do piss, is natural, piss. I think, for New York City. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. It's it, it is what it is. I mean, if you think about it, New York City is basically built on garbage and water, and then built underground where things dwell, including huge subway rats. I mean, that big pizza rat, New York City. Well, like like the rest of the rest of the world, 
is like, holy shit, pizza rat. And y'all are like, it's a fucking rat. What do you want? Like, y'all are yeah. used to that shit. I mean, every time I like wait for a subway, which is rare because I'm actually a driver. But every time I wait for a subway, like, I literally watch the tracks to see if I can catch any rats. Like, just sort of playing peekaboo. It, it's a legit thing. And I'm... almost every old apartment has cockroaches. You can almost guarantee that. Oh, we're listen. We're in, we're in fucking Florida. You you don't have to tell us. We have <laughs> we have mutant flying cockroaches. Oh God, please no. Yeah. I, oh I, I yeah. Never survive. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're not. They're not like everywhere. But oh yeah, we got we got cockroaches. You want cockroaches? We got them. Yeah. But even dumber than that, we have apartment complexes who won't properly handle an infestation of germans. Gibbs a woo. Oh, like the German cockroaches? But y'all do have yes. scorpions. Scorpions? Scorpions. What? Yeah. Where are you, Gibbs? Gibbs is out in the, Gibbs is out new. She's in the desert. Oh. Arizona. What's funny, though, is you could breathe better in that dry heat that's hotter in Arizona than going to New York in 90 degree humid weather. That's right. That's right. Yep. Yeah, because there's not humidity. Yeah. But 118 degrees, even without humidity, is still fucking hot. Oh, I'm not heat. saying. No, 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 no. I know. I know. But people <laughs> who have spent a long time in Arizona are always like, well, it's a dry heat. I'm like, I don't give a shit. It's still fucking hot. Yeah, that's also the thing. Less there's mold less in mold in the air. That's also true. See, we have, that's, a, that's a thing here in Florida, man. Especially around here. Like, because we're surrounded by water here. I mean, I'm in Tampa Bay, so I have water. We have water on the Gulf. We have water in the Bay, just south of me, like literally just south of me. Um, and then it, there's always water standing around here somewhere, whether we've got like the retention pond that stays filled because it's always like raining a little bit here. Like it's just, Gibbs. oh my God, that's. You should lose yourself for I that hand you. motion I too. I love you, Gibbs. You can you can be you can be south of my face anytime you want. Gibbs, <laughs> that is an uwu. That that's uwu. a that's a luwood. Um. And do, doesn't wait? Doesn't Allie get an uwu? Uh, not an uwu. <laughs> <laughs> Allie gets an uwu. Oh, I got an uwu. All right. She got an uwu from Give Gibbs. You an uwu. But she does also get a lewd. She gets a luwood. Oh my I gotta god! I got to get up to sixty-nine nice. or sixty-eight, and I owe you one, one or the other. Nice. nice. Oh, I yeah. mean, <clears throat> it, 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 New York City is just different. I mean, I don't know how to class it. Like, one of the things that when I did visit Boston, when I was looking at schools, like everything was shut down at ten p.m. In New York City, something is always open. Is it safe? questionable yeah but something's always open yeah so the new york city is a lot like our friend Krako, as as a lot how he describes himself new york is just built different like new yeah. york is fucking built different y'all are built different up there we are the 50th rudest state it's true i should say like we are we went we went full in we said, if we're going to be rude, we're going to do it. I mean, like, I'm walking here. I mean, that's like, like our, our theme song. Yeah. I will say yes, this. Yes, I had to do it in the New York accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's, no, that's fair. That's, that's fair. Listen, the thing that I appreciate is, like, you have a brand. Is that what you appreciate? Why don't you take about 20% off there, Squirrely Dan? You have a brand and you stick to it, and I respect that. I mean, literally coming... You respect branding? What? What? <laughs> it, it's... Don't look at when my we're shirt. Leaving, <laughs> when we're leaving Brooklyn, there's literally a sign that says, now leaving Brooklyn, forget about it. That's see? Spelled out exactly like that. See? We have a brand. You, you do. You do. And that's like, that's respectable. I mean, Gibbs, I got, Wait. I got plenty. You want to come borrow one? Just come borrow one. Like I got, I guess I'm done with the white one, but it's, just, I'm, I'm just wearing it now. Wait, people. Oh, you have to get Tennessee up to take South. it off. And who's got effort for that? 
Yeah, that's a lot of work. Like, the hook is way over. That's I can't even reach. Like, that's way over wait, there. Wait, wait. People would just like bump into you, Gibbs. Pardon me. Excuse me. I can't do a southern accent, so I can't do that. But I heard Pardon that's me, a thing. Excuse me. Not in New York. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Why does sorry. my RimWorld not want to install properly? Oh, honey. Excuse it's me, funny because in New York, I'm like one of the only ones who say sorry. Sorry. Cross by or grab like, something in front of you and say nothing. Yeah, that's that happens a lot here in Florida too. Also in Florida, you can just be you know existing and minding your own business, and someone will flick you off for existing. You know. Just because they're from New York. Yeah. Well, I like, don't think it's I don't think it's just that. I think it's just because Florida is just Florida. See, that's the like, thing, Gibbs. Like where we're I, from, I where we're from, we like. That's how we were raised. We were, we was raised right, and we was taught to you always be polite to people until they are not polite to you. And when they are not polite to you, you have one of two options. You continue being sickeningly Bless polite to them and make them feel bad about it, or then you fuck them up. Those are your options. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Minnesota's, Minnesota is like, that's like South, South Canada. I mean, it kind of is, Fritz. Like, I mean, really, it is. Come on, bud. Come <clears throat> on, bud. Get it. It's like South South Canada. It's kind of like like the Panhandle of Florida. The Panhandle is not even really Florida. It's just like South South Alabama and Georgia. That's all Does it is. Does it have the same proclivities as Alabama? In the Panhandle, yeah, a lot of times they do. No. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Panhandle's rough. Gibbs? Wait, Gibbs? PCB? Panama City Beach. Gibbs, tell me I'm wrong. Mm. Tell me I'm wrong, though. Like, I mean... It's true, Fritz. You, you did. You, you did your time. You served your time. Borth, Dakota. Borth, Dakota? <laughs> That's right, Borth, Dakota. He's from North Dakota. <laughs> Gibbs, anytime you want to come down, you come down. We get you food. We'll go. We'll go have good Cubans. Oh God, there's a place around the corner from us that we absolutely love. Best Cubans in Tampa. Just fantastic. Okay, how do they make their Cubans? I I have to ask. Um. All right. So, do you know what a Cuban sandwich consists of? I'm half Cuban. Okay. So then, great. <laughs> um. So. A traditional, you know, traditional Cuban, you know, you've got your, your ham and your roast pork, you've got your Swiss cheese, you've got your mustard, you've got it on your Cuban bread, you've got it nice and pressed, okay? Um, ooh, ropa viejas, yeah, yeah, that's, that's also good too. Anything, uh -huh. anything with like a stewed pulled meat, like I'm there, like a pulled pork, I'm, I'm about it. I'm about a fucking pulled pork. Um, but, yes. uh. Like the 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 Cubans at this place, they're just like they're just done right. Like in the way that they season and cook their pork is just so good, and like the beautiful contrast between the roast pork and the ham is just so good. Because so many places do it to where like you almost can't tell the difference between the roast pork mm -hmm. and the ham, and it's like that's not the point. Like you're not just putting like like okay, let me take like a chicken tenderloin and a chicken breast and just mix it together. Like what's the point nope. of that? You don't do that. No. Um, Oh, Kissimmee. Well, that's still not far. Listen, we go to Disney. Bean would love that. Fucking bean bean. We're going to Disney in a couple weeks for her birthday. Are you going to live stream it? No, God, no. <laughs> um, so what type of mustard do they use? Yellow mustard. Perfect. Yeah, Pickles? yellow mustard. Oh, ab absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Then they do it right because yeah. a lot of places I found they either use like under quality Swiss cheese or they don't season the pork mm -hmm. or they use like deli cut third brand ham. No, this place and is, it don't is taste good. right. Um, oh. and the the uh. Now I will say that the ham they they put on there is just pretty thinly sliced, but I like it that way. It's a lot easier to tear through. 
Yes. Um, I've had places where they will do like the big thick slices of ham, like the kind you cut off like for Christmas and shit. And it's like, that's just <laughs> not, no. It's too much. It, it is too much. It is. It is too much. Like you can't just, no, no. Um, but they also yeah, have but... this, this Havana sauce that they make. That's um, like this very like thin white sauce. Um, I think it's like a mayonnaise base. Uh huh. Um, and they season it really well, and it's like it's perfect for dipping the sandwich in. It's oh, it's out of this world. It's so good, so good. There's a there's a chain in New York City called Sophie's Cuban. Uh huh. I get whenever I order for, at Man. work, I order <laughs> Ropa Uh huh. And I get the Moro rice. I get the fried sweet plantains, and they send their own sauce, and it's like this green. It's like a green sauce, but it's like sort of creamy. Okay. And it has just the right amount of spice because I'm not a spice lover. Mm -mm. Same. Oh Same. my God. You made me just want to order from Sophie's. I don't even know how to get it delivered here. Yeah. Because I'm not at work. Yeah. I, I like when every once in a while would like, we just have to have it. Also, they make delicious sweet tea and they give it to you in like this big plastic to go cup. So, so good. And again, like it's just down the street from us, so it's yeah. Oh, you're fine. Go, go, go. Do the satisfactory. Listen, update five is out, man. Update five is out on the experimental branch. Go get that shit. And, um, what is satisfactory? It is glorious, is what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a factory building game. Um, so. Basically, you go, you find resources, and then you start building machines and build out an entire factory, automation systems and shit. Conveyor belts, power sources, all that kind of jazz. It's fantastic. Hell, they got fucking, they got trains now. I think I caught some of Matters uh, yesterday. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, what is this he's playing? Is this like Minecraft 2.0? Like, because I, I can't even play Minecraft. I'm awful at it. Yeah, I, I I think I would probably be that way too, Allie. Like I'm I don't think I would do well on my own with a factory, but if I was helping somebody else out, I would probably do better. Um But yes, it is it's I haven't played it, um, but I know several folks here really like it, including Lollipop, Allie, uh Tom is really big into it. Um but yeah, I'm I I love it. I'm a I'm a I'm a huge fan of that kind of stuff. I think it's fantastic. Like that whole genre this, is just neat. I remember this game and I don't remember what it's called, but you evolved life from bacteria into creatures. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It was um um the Sims folks did it. Um, yeah. Son of a bitch. I'm trying to remember what it was called. I was obsessed with that for a while, and I think when I bought my new computer, because they brought all my files over from my old computer, yeah, like I found the game again, and I was like trying to run it, and I don't know, yeah, it's like genetics. Yeah, niche is uh okay. Let me see niche. Where do I get niche? No, it wasn't Sim Life. No, it's not Sim Life. It was called something different. It was like pop a popping name. Yeah. Oh fuck! I'm trying to think. Um, was it Spore? Spore. That's what it was Spore. called. Spore. Spore. Yeah, Spore was a fantastic game. Um, where again, like you start with like, it's it's an RTS like God style game where you start with basically like bacteria, and you evolve these things, and you can choose traits for them as they evolve, and you can change their environment and shit. And it's like, like you eventually get up to the point to where you can like evolve them to where they're going into space and shit like it's phenomenal yeah. like it was really really good it was um, like top tier i think like if you think about the graphics and the storyline like it was so unique and and yeah. the graphics like just really drew you in yeah in a cartoony was, way but yeah i'm like like it was kind of cutesy like after they evolved but like it was it was fun like it was it was something that you didn't have to think a whole lot about like you just went through and and dicked around with it. Like, imagine a game. Okay, you know how a lot of times when folks are playing The Sims, 
You spend a lot of time designing designing your Sims. <laughs> Me. Imagine a game of that, but like you get to like evolve a species that way. So it's like one really long game of design a sim. It's kind of what it is. Well, I mean, what's the best part of RPG is creating your character. Creating your character. It's true. It's true because that's the thing that sticks with you. Once you've created your character, that's it. From there, it's all just glam. Although I guess in 14, that doesn't count because we can just all Fantasia and it's fine. But $10 a pop, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I guess still got my free one. I, I went to Cat Boy and went back to Lizard Boy. <laughs> so I went from Cat Girl to Lizard Boy back to Cat Boy to Cat Boy and then now I'm Lizard Boy again. But I'm, I'm a light colored Lizard Boy. A light colored Lizard Boy. Yeah, like I'm still emo and crap because I'm a dark knight and you know emo. But yeah, yeah that's Must yeah. Be emo. I'm, yeah, I'm emo fuck boy, but literally I am. I now have like white goldish horns instead of black. Yeah, you could tell what the, my favorite part of the game is. What? No, not you. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something about this. This this thing is like tarnished, and I need to really get it like cleaned. Your tiara? Yeah. It's, Hi, Milo. Milo, you woke up? Oh, it's, you're it's still so feeling old. poorly. Oh, Milo, you're still feeling poorly. The sweet Milo. What a sweet buddy. Yeah, he's been rubbing his ear, and I'm worried because we think, well, for about a, almost a year now, he's had a brain tumor, we think it is. That's why he got oh. lots of seizures. Yeah. And now that he's rubbing his eye and his ear a lot more, I... I'm hoping it's not because he's my 14 year old baby. Oh, don't leave me. Oh, okay. He's my 14 year old baby. Yeah. He's a very sweet boy. Yeah, except when he wants to be a little bitch and not let me cuddle him. Well, he's a cat. What do you, it's like, what do you <laughs> want from him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually have to start writing down notes. I've been meaning to all week long, and I haven't written down any notes for my interview on Friday, but I need to. I'm going to try to. I think to... one I... of the most important things for an interview is to ask a question, isn't it, at the end, to show you're interested? Well, here's the thing. So, this is going to be a little different because. Thank you, Gibbs. Um, the, everybody that's that applied for this was in, internal. They're all like from the dev team. Um, so like this is where like uh, our VP, he, he emailed everybody. I'm obviously blind copied them. So no one would know who I was going out for it, but um, he emailed all of us. And he's like, listen, this is going to be a little different because we work together every day. Um, I know what it's like to work with you. This is more about like the actual job itself. So like, I want to know what your expectations for the role are. What kind of plans do you have for, you know, coming into this role? Um, you know, things that you would like to do, why you actually want the role. Let's go in there and be like, uh, I want it. So no one else, can, cause I don't trust anyone else to do it. <laughs> Which I mean, frankly, like, I, I mean, I only half joke about that because, like, Lollipop can he can attest to, we we don't we don't we don't want anyone else to do it. If it has to be, if we have to have someone, it might as well be one of us, and he doesn't want it. Hell no! I ain't even a senior yet. But you're senior in our hearts. Thanks. That just makes me sound like an old man. It's true. Listen, I'm going to laugh if your interview on on Friday just opens with with them just sitting you down and going, OK, so what exactly is it that you do here? <laughs> I told you <laughs> I deal with the goddamn customers. I am good at talking to people. Uh. <laughs> Please ex explain a situation in which you have spoke to a person. I could I could tell them about how I gave my my workshop on the word fuck. Oh, <laughs> Allie, you don't count as old. This. You don't count as old, Allie. 
Wait, I, I really got to know, what is this workshop about the word fuck? Okay, so we, on every other Tuesday we have is, is like our huge meeting day because it starts off in the morning with our sprint review um, where all the teams present and talk about what they did for the last two weeks, all the work they did, um, to like the other teams and the rest of the business because we have a bunch of business stakeholders in the room. Um, and then we, after that... Um, our team is booked the rest of the day for our retrospective um, for that sprint. And then we also have our planning period. So we get through, was it like the end of retro? Was that what it was? I think so. Something like that. Think, was that at the end? I don't remember. I don't remember. It was throughout the course of like somewhere between the beginning of retro and the end of planning. Uh, we got on the subject of swearing. Oh, it was in retro because Cameron was talking about people opening up to each other and vulnerability and shit. Um, That's right. So we were talking about swearing because, you know, we've got we've got new people on our team. Um, our product owner has only been with us for a few weeks. Our um, uh, our business analyst has only been with us for like a couple of months. Um, it's kind of like that, Fritz. Yeah. It was kind of like, yeah. Um, and so, you know, we, we were talking about kind of how we just, you know, it takes time for everybody to kind of open up and feel out the other people on the team and kind of get into that groove to where we're all very comfortable around each other. Um, and so we talked about how, like, you know, an example was swearing, you know, like when you're new on a team, a lot of people, when they're new and they don't know anybody, they're a little more reserved with that until they get to know people better. And they, they feel out what other people's kind of comfort zone is, um, with our team. Um, cause I'm not shy. I think I'm probably, wouldn't you say I'm probably like the least shy one on the team? Mm, I'll go with that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not necessarily the most outspoken one, but I am the least shy one. Is that fair? Yes. Okay, that's okay. I know, I know. I'm very reserved. I'm very, I hold everything back. Um, so we talked about swearing as one of those things where you like, as you get to know people and open up more Gibbs, I would actually believe that. Absolutely. I would believe that. Um, and so, um, you know, I talked about how we know I fucking swear like a sailor. Um, and our, uh, business analyst, she does too. She hasn't done it as much, but let me tell you in the last couple of days, buddy, like, especially that one meeting that we had earlier today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she is starting to let it fly. And it's just like, it warms, it warms my little bear heart. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, our product owner is saying how she's trying to actually cut back on it some. Um, you know, she's, she's, she's trying to not do it as much, especially she's got like um, smaller children that she lives with because she lives with. Um, family, including like nieces and her nephew, and then like her sister has a baby on the way. So she's trying to pull it back some to not do it in front of the kids as much, you know, which make, you know, respect. Um, and then there's Cameron, one of our other developers. And he's like, see, I'm the opposite. He said, I grew up in a household where swearing was very, very frowned upon. So he's like, just in the last few months, I've started to sw swear uh, for like the next 15 minutes, Gibbs. Um, so he's like, I just really started swearing. And he's like, I'm trying to work it more and more into my daily speech. And I don't really know how. And I'm like, well, friend, I can give you a workshop on the foundation of swearing. And let me tell you about the most versatile, most useful swear word in the English language, and that is... It is fuck. That is the word fuck. And so I spent a little bit of time talking about how, um, you know, fuck can be used in many different contexts. It can be used as several different parts of speech. Um, and 
how you can even use it in the middle of a word where if you have a multi-syllable word that has you know a syllable that has like specific emphasis on it you can put fuck in front of the syllable that you emphasize so for example um in fucking credible so instead of incredible so you say in yes, absolute absolute fucking lutely fan fucking tastic yes exactly exactly um so that's like that's the kind of um that's the kind of stuff that like you know you start working fuck into your daily speech and you kind of get like lewis black where he's like he's like i don't yeah. even he's like fuck is just a comma in the middle of a sentence yes which by the way by the way let me tell you kit i i know we haven't had this specific conversation yet but if i could if i had the ability to grow up to be an old pissed off Jewish man from New York, I would. <laughs> I would like Lewis Black. Like I just, I strive to that level. I aspire to that. <laughs> Look, Lewis Black, George Carlin, oh yeah, Robin Williams. Like they, they're so fucking great. Yep, they are. They really, really are. Yep. And I mean, do you remember George Carlin? What was it? The seven words you can't say on TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that. That was amazing. Yeah. Lewis Black is from Maryland, but he acts like a freaking yeah, but he's, old Jewish New Yorker. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. I mean, he's 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 he spends he spends a great deal of time. Like he spent a great deal of his life in New York. Ooh, and, cherry. And okay. And and speaking of New Yorkers, com New York comedians, I actually don't like Jerry Seinfeld. You know, like uh, I feel like yeah. I, I feel like Seinfeld's an acquired taste. There you go, Dom. Cherry for you, buddy. I I feel like I feel like S Seinfeld's an acquired taste. Like it's he's not somebody that like I don't know. Yeah. Eat my cherry, damn it, Gibbs. Jesus, Gibbs. Rude. Am I gonna have to create like a a big loot at some point? <laughs> New York comedians, because like Woody, who is it? Ooh. Woody, Woody Allen and and Jerry Seinfeld. Like, I don't know what it is. I just can't. Uh, well, Woody Allen's uh, kind of a creep. Sus. He's a he's sus. Yeah, what's a what's a petter ass, Walter? Shut the fuck up, Donnie. I mean, who else is it? I mean, let's see. Jimmy Fallon, I do like. Jimmy Kimmel, I like. I like Kimmel. I like Fallon, but I like Kimmel more. I don't like. Believe it or not, I haven't really seen like Don Rickles. I like Ray Romano. Though, if I had to choose, I like Ray Romano. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's apparently a lot from New York, and I saw some of Rodney Dangerfield. Dangerfield, I and I haven't really Rodney. seen Billy Crystal's. I like Billy Crystal. I like him. But number one, Mel Brooks. Oh yeah, yeah, like like one of the 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 greatest comedy cinema masterminds of all time like just phenomenal shit i like history of the world part one do you hear they're making a uh they're making a history of the world part two series on hulu no they're not they are wait really yeah yeah they, they finally coming out with a part two they're gonna do part two and he's gonna be he's he's running it History of the World Part 2. Hold on. He's like 90-year-old ass is going to be running it. Oh, my God. This article is from the 18th. Yeah. Yeah. But it got announced last week. His 95-year-old ass is going to be running it. Oh, my God. Oh, as long with Nick Kroll, Wanda Sykes, Ike Barinholtz, David Stassen, and Ke Kevin Salter are producers. Oh, that's going to be freaking hilarious. Mm-hmm. Okay, I will say oh, this. I will say this. Like, I'm so 
Uh, Nick Kroll is kind of hit or miss with me. Um, like there are things of his that I like. There are things of his that I'm just like, that's a little much. Um, but, uh, the, did you ever see the league? The show about like the friends that were in the fantasy football league together? No. Okay. So it's really funny for the first couple of seasons and it just like trails off. But like Nick Kroll's character in it is it's it's hilarious. He's like he's really good. Again, up to a certain point, and then the whole thing just kind of yeah. Um, I mean, I, I just, I, I'm on a John Mulaney kick. I've I've been in Gabriel Iglesias. I love him. I've seen him live, <laughs> and Jeff Jeff Dunham. I mean, those are really my top three comedians. You say you say John Mulaney, and the first thing I think about is, let me tell you about the greatest meal I ever had. <laughs> Wait, why do I not recognize that one? The one where he's talking about like he plays the jukebox. And he's playing. No, I never heard that. What? Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. 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 Dunham. Dot com. Jeff. 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 Um, I kill you. Uh, the. the Sorry. No, it's fine. The, so the. Oh, uh, Gibbs, I love you. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for being here. Um. So John Mulaney has this sketch where he's talking about like the greatest meal he ever had and he's in some diner and they have a jukebox and he goes up and he cues up um uh he oh, cues salt up salt and pepper diner maybe but he's talking about he okay. he cues up what's new pussycat and he cues it up like 37 times or something <laughs> Like Tom Jones, what's new pussycat? He cues like 37 times in this jukebox, but in the middle, he throws in and it's not unusual just so people like they listen to it and they're like, oh, oh God, finally. Cause like you hear it the first time you're like, oh, all right, all right. It's, it's just Tom Jones is pretty good. You hear it the second time you're like, what's going on? By the time you get to like the fifth one, you're like, what is happening? And then you get to like, it plays It's Not Unusual and you finally, you think you're free. But then nope, here it comes again. <laughs> and he's just like watching these people freak out inside of this diner. And he's like, and that is the best meal I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> No, what killed me was his thing about about taking the subway. And it's really late at night. It's like 2 a.m. And only him and this woman are there. And the, the woman is walking ahead of him. But all of a sudden, the woman speeds up. So he thinks, oh, there's someone behind me. There's someone coming after me, too. Maybe I should speed up. Oh, God. And the woman looks back to him, sees he's walking faster, continues to speed up. And him, oh, no. not thinking of anything, he chases the woman, thinking that someone's behind him. Oh, no. So what do you do at that point when she's basically cornered against the stairs? Do you just suddenly say, I'm not a rapist? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that's... Because everyone looking at John Mulaney, I mean... Oof. Him? Oof, that's... Yeah, that's... That's awkward. That's John Mulaney. Yeah, Awkward. it's true. It's true. Gaffigan, you know, like one of my favorite Gaffigan bits is where he's talking about Hot Pockets. And he's, you know, you talk about like when you eat a Hot Pocket, like you warm it up and it never cooks through. Because like on the outside, it's like molten lava. And on the inside, it's frozen solid. And then he talks about Lean Pockets. He's like, just don't. Just don't. He's just like... Hot pocket. He's like with lean pockets, you just open wrapper, insert directly into toilet. <laughs> you just made me choke on the last of my decaf coffee, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, speaking That's of not Krispy how you drink cream, coffee at all. I don't know why she's drinking her coffee like that. That's not how you do that. <laughs> speaking of Krispy Kreme, Gabriel Iglesias and and, and oh fluffy uh, Krispy Kremes, Krispy Kremes. When he got pulled over by the cops, just he knocks on the window. He's like, and literally Gabriel just offers him the box of Krispy Kreme and says, "You could smell it." <laughs> and 
I mean, come on, like that's how I know Krispy Kreme because you know New York City, we're Dunkin' people. You are Dunkin' people. It's true. Uh, again, I'm from the South. I'm from the South, so we are very familiar with Krispy Kremes. Um, Gibbs probably more so than most because she's from Tennessee, and I'm pretty sure Krispy Kreme is based out of Kentucky. Let me see. Do do do. -do. Wait. Uh, Fritz, I almost got to look up Jim Gaffigan's Krispy Kreme now because it sounds like it's going to be funny. So I got to load that up too. Wow, I have a oh, lot no, of stuff. Oh, no, they're, they're headquartered in North Carolina. I thought they got started in. No, I guess they are from North Carolina. I could have sworn they were from Kentucky. Regardless. Giggity Hot Pocket Ayla? Really? Oh, my God. Hold on. I, I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. Load. There we go. That's one for Ayla. Oh. But oh yeah. my god. Oh fuck, I love Krispy Kremes. They're just Listen, have Warm you, gooey? Have you have you ever had a Krispy Kreme donut kit like a fresh one? Never. Okay. You like a classic glazed donut? Mm, chocolate glaze, but yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let me tell you about the light. Do you know about the light? Oh god. Okay. When you drive by a Krispy Kreme store, you look for the light. Because what will happen is, when they are making a fresh batch, they will turn on the light. And there is a neon sign in the window of every Krispy Kreme store with the Krispy Kreme logo in the middle. And it will say, hot now. And let me tell you, uh... When you see that light, you stop everything you're doing and you go in to the fucking Krispy Kreme. Either you go inside or you go through the drive through but you look for that light because that means they are fresh. They are coming off of the conveyor belt right then and you can get a fresh Krispy Kreme donut. And there is nothing in this world like the light fluffiness of a fresh Krispy Kreme donut. It is unbeatable, just like Fritz said. Fresh Krispy Kreme donuts are just amazing. Now, don't get me wrong. Love my Dunkin'. Absolutely love my Dunkin'. Like, I will go get a French Crawler or Boston Cream all day long, okay? Like, love me Boston Cream donuts from, from the Dunkin'. But the Krispy Kreme, the fresh ones, whether you get plain glazed or chocolate glazed or or you get the chocolate cream filled yes that is it that is the ticket folks it's just <sighs> it's it's okay. magical it's magical next time i'm in the city i will stop by bolton square and i will have to see if the Krispy Kreme there has that hot fresh sign and stop by there for my lunch break and stalk them. You, you, Bolton Center. Rude. You gotta you, like make sure that hot now sign is on because that that's the fucking ticket. And with that, folks, I think it is a perfect place to close out for the night. Oh God. Fuck I love You Krispy feel better Kreme. now? Yeah. You feel better now, Z? A little bit. A little bit. Need a... Points hot now. Side to my... God, God damn it, Dom. Oh, Dommy. <laughs> what do I have one for? There it is. Load. Oh. I need a, oh. I, I need a browser extension specifically for this. I think, I think I'm going to do that to where, like, I can click on a... a, a a person and like have ludes like like buttons oh my god Ayla. all right we're we're getting the hell if out of thor, here those are those are titties if, that, look if thor correct. was literally pointing at a hot now sign i'd say yes i'm just saying uh, oh my lord y'all are a mess my lord Y'all are an absolute mess. Um, Friday, we're playing Remnant from the Ashes. Lollipop picked it. 
Um, I'm giving away a two month Game Pass Ultimate sub for anybody who's never had Game Pass before. Only works if you never had Game Pass before. Um, so I do love you, Dom. It's true. I love you very much. Um, so yeah, so giving away the Game Pass and playing Remnant from the Ashes on Friday. We're being sus on sus day for spoopies. Um, Monday we're back in 14, and Wednesday we'll be right back here. Uh, Lollipop, you want to do your thing, bud? Mm, yeah, sure. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell, and then don't forget to try Final Fantasy 14, the critically acclaimed MMORPG from Square Enix. It has a free trial all the way up to level 60, which includes the award-winning Heaven's Word expansion, and there is no limitations on game time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No restrictions on game time. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Uh, oh, you got so close, so close. My bad. Listen, you you did it all in one breath though, so that that I think is impressive. I'm I'm very very impressed by it. I'm gonna go take a nap. That's what she said. Oh damn it, Ayla. <laughs> oh oh, Dom, Dom, Dom. Yeah. What, what what's what's the other thing, Dom? You also forgot the whole enjoy Eorzea today. Like the most important part of that whole copy paste. <laughs> enjoy Eorzea today. It's true. It's true. Do your own copy paste. You copy paste your face. All right, let's Don't see. Don't forget that. And Walker's is coming out November something. That's. So that, and everyone's taking okay. off two days. That's true. That's that's very true. Um, I'm almost out of side quests to do. You you are almost out of side quests to do. The early, ac the early access comes out on a Friday, though. So there's only take off two days. Oh no! Oh no! You have to take time off to play in Walker. Oh no! How terrible! Uh, I'm not going to take time off because I'm not even going to be through Heavensward by then. Uh, let's see. I actually took the release off, not early access. Oof. So. All right, so let's see, what else we got? Um, I think that's it, that's everything. Um, so we will see y'all again on Friday night for you pick night, playing Remnant from the Ashes that Lollipop himself picked. Uh, let's see who we're gonna go see tonight. Are you gonna raid Matter? Matter? I think I might, yeah. Since he's playing the, the Satisfactories. Um, for those of you who don't already, Please, please follow our dear friend Matter. We love him very much. He is currently playing Satisfactory. We are going to go raid him. The raid message is in chat. There it is. Um, yep. Very, very, very good stuff. Uh, and I think uh, that's it. Uh, so we will see y'all on Friday night. Until then. Take care. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. And we'll see you in two days. Bye.